Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. Now, today I'm going to be sharing with you something that I wish I had known way back when I first started my bookkeeping and accounting practice. And that was to not fall into the trap of shiny object syndrome. Now, it's really easy as a new bookkeeper or accountant when you set up a practice and you go into all these different events like the ICB summit or the Accountex in London or in the North or the FAB, for example, to get on the bandwagon essentially with all of these different supplier um, software that is out there, particularly in terms of engagement letters. Now, I'm not afraid to admit that I made a mistake very early on in my bookkeeping and accounts practice, and I did end up spending thousands of pounds on a piece of software for engagement letters, which looking back, I absolutely did not need to do. So I'm going to save you that hassle and save you thousands of pounds in your new bookkeeping and accounts practice by showing you that if you are a user of Taxstone, you actually have that facility free. How great is that? So let's get into it. I'm going to share my screen with you now. And as always, if you've got questions after, feel free to ask away, put those comments in the comment section, and I will always do my best to get back to you or put you in the right direction where I don't know the answer. So let's crack on. So the first place that I'm going to go to is if we go onto this screen here, we'll have all of our um, information, our dashboard, etc. But I want you to go ahead and click into templates, click on this little button here and then go down to firm templates. So if you're starting out from scratch, you're not going to have anything here. And that is absolutely fine. I'm going to show you a shortcut on how to get started here. Go to copy from library and then let's find engagement letters. So there we go. EN UK, there's a letter of engagement example. All we're going to do is copy that. We're going to click into it. Okay, so now we've got our letter of engagement template example. So we can change the name of this quite easily and just say, let's just say this is for our accounting team member. That's going to be me. Short code, so we can change this if we like to, but that's going to be visible to clients. So I wouldn't call it example if it's going to be visible to clients. And I might be tempted even to get rid of that first bit there. There we go. Now this is going to ask you, do you want an introduction? Yes, we do. Do you want terms? Yes, we do. Services and invoices. So this is a really, really good feature that I want to discuss with you, but we're going to get, click yes here. Additional custom message and email. Let's do that. Reminders, set up an automated reminder. So this is going to say um, three days until the next reminder, number of reminders three. So I would say I would actually change that personally because I think particularly when you're buying into a service, I like to give clients just a moment to think about it first. And I personally don't like to be hassled if I'm going to sign up to a new piece of software or a new service within my firm. So I just like that time to digest. So I don't particularly from my end want to be chasing people after a day of not signing an engagement letter. So you change that, change it to whatever you'd like, custom message. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna go, hi, and instead of us typing out that client's name every single time, we're gonna add a short code. So hi, um, we can have account name or other. So at this moment, I'm just going to go to that. I'm going to say, um, please see attached a copy of your engagement letter. There we go. Please review and sign if happy. Kind regards. And you could put your name here if you'd like to. I'm going to put my name on there. So we selected everything that we want to here. If you are unfamiliar, the other thing with Tatstone that I always talk about is the fact that they're super friendly, they're super supportive, and you can just watch a video on how to create a proposal by just clicking on that there. So we're going to click next. Introduction. Explain to your clients who you are, what services you provide, the value you bring. So, and any other information. So in here, this is crazy because you can actually add in media, etc. at this point. Um, emojis if you really want to, um, but you could say, you know, um, something like Paris and established, I can't spell, established practice in the UK who offer a range of services from bookkeeping, so 
assessment to FD services. Um, we were founded. It was like Tago, in North England. Following. I was going to make all this up. <laughs> a breakthrough by our director. Don't have to watch all this part. Skip this bit if you'd like to. There you go. You could add something different to that, should you wish. You can change the name of this um, from introduction. And over here, we've got a load of different options. So we could click on this button here and we could attach some information. We can do some more short codes. We can add a picture. We can embed a video. So if I just went to YouTube and created a video that was a hello, welcome to the firm. You know, this is what we do, et cetera, et cetera. Here's some stories from our clients. Um, I could then paste that video link in and that will show when they get their engagement letter. So it's not just a paper PDF anymore. You can get really interactive and creative. So super fun. So I am going to find a video actually there just to pop in, just to give you an example. So bear with me one second. Okay. So I've found a video here. So embed video. There we go. And we're just going to stick that in just the budget in Excel video. <laughs> Um, that I did a while back. So if we then go to next terms. So this is where you're going to have your terms of contract, the type of services that you offer, um, financial information, things such as um, data protection, what sort of, how you're going to store your client's information alongside a few other bits, fees and payment, ownership of working papers. Some best practice when it comes to engagement letters that I will share with you is I would say it's best to have a very detailed engagement letter for your clients. So I'd spend a lot of time on this and make sure that you're covering um, air as well. Um, sometimes new bookkeepers and accounts practice fall down on this because they don't specify things such as when it comes to VAT returns, for example, you might want a line in there that says it is your job as the client to provide this information by X date. Otherwise, we cannot confirm that, that the VAT return will be completed on time, for example. So I hear a lot in other groups, bookkeepers saying that, you know, they're working up until the 11th hour on that return day on the 7th, and they still haven't had information from various clients for X, Y, and Z. But I think it's really key to set those boundaries very early on so that you both understand responsibilities from both parties. So definitely do that. What I would do is I would go to my professional body, such as the ICW, ACCA, SEMA, SIPFA, and I would obtain a copy of their templates for engagement letters and use that as a base to prepare this. So the type of information that you want in here will be things like, um, yeah, um, the services that you're offering, the terms of the contract, so how long that lasts, things such as notice that you want to give on both sides, what that looks like, also financial information use and distribution, so as I was saying earlier, the GDPR, information and disclosure, so ethical standards, how your client can make a complaint, etc, etc. So I'm not going to fill this in, as I say, because we might be here a while, but I would spend a good amount of time making sure that you've got that right and you're happy with it. So we'll go to next. Now, you've got two options here. And again, this is what I love about Taxstone is that you've got the option to choose between different ways of practice. And again, you do not get that with all CRMs. You take it for granted with Taxstone because they just give it to you on a plate, but you do not get that in some CRM systems. So what we've got here is we can add an invoice at this point in the onboarding process or ask for a deposit or we can give them an itemized services listing without creating an invoice. Now, just to be clear, in the UK with a professional body, um, you have to make it very, very clear what your service offering includes. Best practice for me would be giving that on a line by line. So I'll be picking this first one, add an invoice or ask deposit, but on the actual invoice that gets raised, it won't just be a one liner, for example, or in the engagement letter, it would split that out so that the client understood what that actually related to. So if we click on this one here, now that actually brings us to the end of part one of this letter of engagement video on Tatstone. So make sure to click on to part two to watch the rest and I'll catch you there.